Okay. Um, let's just let's pause. I know the let's reason. Just you... Stop right here. What I wanted to say. What I wanted to say is that I had saved this video that I wanted to look at with you guys, because I want to look at the new MMORPGs that are coming out. This is a video, new MMORPGs of 2019 that are actually worth your attention. I put this on my watch later list because I wanted to look at it on stream and see which ones that you guys would be interested in watching me play. Okay. No, and, and I want you guys to say, like, right now, okay, number one, every game, every new game is fun for, like, three days. Besides, I, I bet I could have had fun in Bless Online for at least four more hours than I did. And those, those very beginning moments of an MMO where nobody knows anything about the game and you're just completely, like, in this world and you're trying to learn everything and like figure things out and you're like encountering other people and like it's really the social interactions and like the idea that everyone has just been placed in a completely new world and it's like boom go do whatever you're gonna do that is really fucking cool okay bless offline remember whenever we made our guild name bless offline and it wouldn't let us make the guild name because the server crashed <laughs> that was a beautiful day clicked on this video it's the same reason I click on these kind of videos. I'm just hoping that someone has knowledge of some great game that checks all of my boxes that somehow I missed. As MMO fans, we've been in a bit of a new game drought these last years, and we've seen videos yeah. with the same games that probably still won't be released for years populate the- Oh, dude, there's a Pantheon people. They're going to be fucking triggered. Like, I don't know what it is about Pantheon, but whatever, whatever that game does for people- they just they just have to defend it no matter where it is bless offline like i mean i actually should, i'm not gonna look at it right now but pantheon it's just i hope that i hope pantheon is good i hope ashes of creation is good but damn i'm not sure if that's gonna happen games to check out this year style lists surrounded by other games that just aren't even worth your time okay 2019 is bad but for me there actually are a few bright spots We'll start with one of them, Temtem. Broadly speaking, this is an MMO based around monster or creature collection, taming, breeding, and battling. And there's no hiding it, they've obviously played and taken huge inspiration from Monster Rancher on the PlayStation 1. One of the most appealing aspects of Temtem to me, besides saying its name, is in order to make the turn-based battles and combat as skill-reliant as possible, their vision is to remove as much R the campaign we're not playing that one okay like let's just get that out of our head right now we're not playing that one period like if i wanted to play animal crossing i'd play animal crossing if i wanted to play pokemon i don't want to play pokemon because i would always like i just level up one pokemon to like level 100 and then just have him solo everything and then if he couldn't solo it i'd throw my game boy across the room housing cosmetics and the promise of cross-platform play is just gravy and is probably just the start of what we can expect from this game in the future okay where do the joy con boys stand when it comes to that tem tem that's a ten ten tem tem that's a ten ten my fucking voice let's get the elephant in isn't that guy isn't that guy like isn't that guy like crazy or something Because I, I, I saw, like, his Twitter or something. And, and, like, he was just... The guy was out of control. That was Will Smith. That wasn't Will Smith, man. He's a paid actor? Well, yeah, of course he's playing it up for the fucking stream, dude. He's playing it up for the fucking video. You think this dude's actually hooping and hollering around whenever he sees some fucking bullshit Pokemon ripoff MMO? Fuck no, he's just trying to put on a show. That, that, that's the whole point. Come on. Okay, just a second. Ten, that's a ten, he's banned ten, on Twitch? My fucking oh, voice. okay. Well, if he Let's comes up again, I'll, I'll, in the room I'll, out I'll, of the I'll way. skip through it. I didn't know that. World of Warcraft Classic. I could release an entire video Sorry, on my no thoughts idea. on this. I think the way that they're releasing this title is the safe option and is squandering a huge opportunity by doing so. But... It's undeniable that How? this will be the largest and most interesting release we've had or will have Please in expand. MMOs for a while. MMOs are so much fun the first month when people are still enjoying the game. 
figuring it out. Hey. All of the communities and online presence the game has is like supercharged. Friends haven't quit yet. And World of Warcraft Classic Jeez. will be that okay. and more. Because you're going to attract not only people looking to play a new game, but people who may have stopped playing games wanting to jump in and see what those people who haven't been able to shut up about it for a decade are talking about. You also hey, have some me. of the top video game influencers who are full on board with this game. You're also going to get people who may have played the game way back then that are going to come back in a different phase Why of their life. Why do they have to say that word, influencers? God, it's I hate that fucking word. It's also interesting because What's going to happen when you release a solved game with an uncertain but probably fixed future? As well as being a free addition to the subscription of the world's most popular MMORPG, which design-wise is so drastically different, but you're going to have these gaming that's a, that's tourists a nice way almost, to say it. just checking out what the game is because it's free. High and how could boy. seeing this game, experiencing this game, change the way they view the live service? But most importantly, it's a rose-tinted glasses reality check. Some of the more tedious old-school mechanics are both remembered too fondly and written off as just nostalgia. I'm going to play it to be part of that initial wave, but it's not a game that I'll take seriously. All the discovery for me has already been done. It will be nice to again try to one-shot triple Wind Fury proc people, but the launch of World of Warcraft Classic is to me, as a returning player, more of an event than a game that I want to see unfold. Lost Ark Online. It launched in Korea last year, and I played it up Lost until recently, Ark. almost daily. I stopped Lost because Ark? not only have there been more Wait, and more oh. rumors and indications that a North American version oh, is this. on the way, and playing on the Korean servers, you have this constant fear of being discovered as a foreigner and banned as certain players over there actively report and get us banned. Just say, Quinn. I'm pretty sure it was confirmed that the Russian version is meant to go into alpha this summer oh. and beta and open beta by year end. Ooh. And I might be wrong here, but I believe I saw that they won't be region locked either as that was oh, kind of the great. straw that killed our english speaking group on the korean server yeah that'll anyway. be super fun Lost playing Ark with people that can only speak chinese that playing it ruined other games for me the level of polish and care with the game as well as how good it feels and looks to push buttons even with the increased ping is almost unrivaled the performance is stellar, the variation, the amount of content, it's just a solid MMORPG. Although I will add that it is a solid MMORPG in the same vein as Final Fantasy XIV, where once you get to the end game stuff, it becomes formulaic to a fault, but presented well. It every game is formulaic at the end game. Like, e Classic WoW is formulaic. Like, every game, because people are so focused on min-maxing nowadays, Every single game becomes... That's a good idea. Yo, I could make that emote. Pause, champ. That's such a good idea. Holy shit. For every single time that I pause. I love that idea. I'm going to figure out a way to do that. Um, but, oh, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll Maybe I could like have his mouth closed or something. I'll, I'll think about that. Where will. Listen. I don't like, the only reason I don't like Lost Ark is because it's isometric, right? You're not able to move your camera around in the same way that you can with WoW. And it doesn't really feel like you're in like the world in that same way because you're not able to move your camera around. Maybe that's just because, you know, I don't know, like it's my personal opinion, but you know, close enough. Is very gamey. And while it looks like an ARPG, it couldn't be further from that and is considerably slower and much more structured. Without a hammer. While I do play overseas games and tinker with English patches, it's and like the hammer from Dark Souls like 3. Lost Ark, the Lodos I've never hammer. I specifically whatever. recommended other people to jump through similar hoops. It's camera nostalgia. Lost Ark is actually an exception there. And I would say that when it hits the Russian servers, if it isn't region locked, I would get my hands on the game, even just to try it, to know and see. But this is a game that kind of lived up to the incredibly crazy amount of hype that was backing it. This next one might get groans. It's called Mad World, and let me just say outright that strictly on the atmosphere and the visuals of this game that I have been looking forward to this for a while now, add in that this game is a full featured MMO, but is browser based and free to play, and that accessibility already makes it a contender and worthy of a mention,
But recently they had a play test, and now I'm impressed. Okay. Granted, okay. it's see, really let's... hard to get a feel for the content of a game during a weekend play test, and for sure it still has rough edges and a ways to go, but I love the dark and twisted atmosphere, even with poorly translated writing, more than I thought I would. Breaking from the shackles that part of traditional cool. high fantasy or sci-fi is just so Ooh, refreshing. Belial. The or enemies Kitaba. are nightmare fuel, the combat and looting and character customization Yon actually reminded me a lot of Ragnarok Online. And I'm not just saying that to grab certain people's attention. It's a similar, very functional, but simplistic form of action combat with many different weapon types and abilities. And you have points to skill up the abilities and no, points to skill up no, different attributes. Dude. And it seems like you're going to build no, your character dude. based on where you allocate these points. Very uh -huh. similar to Ragnarok. Although there weren't jobs or yeah, classes we're gonna have that to I find saw. a skip. This is champ also going to seem really silly, and you can almost disregard this part. Please don't rip me apart in the comments. But my favorite part was the Ragnarok style item drops. When you kill an enemy, you see a mini icon of the item fall to the ground. I don't know how, but it makes it feel different. And when it's 2D like and it's okay. these sort of like icons as opposed to 3D item model drops, it it's just different again. You know, to pretty up the language, I could say. With Look immediate at visual representation of the spoils of a kill, it maintains that causal link from death to loot, making it more seamless that you lose when a game obscures the drop contents into a sparkling body to build anticipation for the largest possible dopamine hit and transform each kill into a small-scale loot box in the process. I could That's one way to look at it. Yeah, that, that is actually definitely one way to look at it. Holy shit. Um... Look, I, 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 I'm not going to play this one. Like, I'm just going to say it right now. I'm not going to play it. Okay, he's almost done with this one. Say that. It's probably not true. There is just something I really like about clearly seeing the item itself I, I don't like drop browser and based sit on the ground it, it, waiting to be clicked. It's also a part of the charm of old Ragnarok if you grew up with it. I think there's going to be a portion of people watching this video that get it and other people that think that this is the dumbest paragraph I've ever written. Yeah. Overall, it does have a lot of the charm of Tria Savior, but it's dark. And again, it's a browser game that's free to play, which is crazy. And even seeing the massive amount of new players into Albion when they released free to play, wow. it's just you can never discount that's a lot free of people. products Holy shit. that run on everything. And Mad World is a yeah. Look cool at Fortnite. That's a good point. Yeah, Fortnite's will example basically of that. run on anything. So two last games to add here. But these are the games that okay. I'm the least confident that they'll be playable this year. There's a good chance, but whether or not it will include the true indicator for an MMO release, the no more wipes status, who knows? All right, Those let's see two em. games are The New World and Hightail. Mm -hmm. New World is Amazon's big sandbox MMO. There have been some leaks and people seem to talk freely about it online, but I do believe there still is an NDA in effect, so I'll respect that. New World is really cool to me because even within sandbox MMOs, New World pushes boundaries. In fact, many of the people you may see leaks from may have played the game a few hours and came back with the impression that New World is just a survival game. It isn't. Now, I don't want to fully dig into why or how much overlap an online survival game and a sandbox MMO share already. That's like this is actually really cool. I, I, I'm already liking this game. I, I want I need to use the bathroom. I wonder if you have Amazon Prime, if you get mail faster in that game. You get like more loot. Fuck. Sorry. Sorry, I'm back. Okay. Link to this video. Uh, I'll, I'll put a link into it uh, after I finish this. Let me read donations real quick. Sorry about that, guys. I had to take a piss. Uh, participation trophy mentality is taking over gaming. Feels bad, man. You are too fucking right. I am very... Very sad to say that you're right. Are your games and professions where it makes the game the best game? Halo two button combos. Melee is another example. Um, <coughs> I think that's true and it's not true. Like for example, like I think bunny hopping in Apex Legends doesn't make the game better. I think it's actually like, I, I think it's stupid. And it's like a, it's an unfulfilling skill gap. I, I think that's really what it is. And, uh, but I, I do think that there is like some examples of what you're saying uh, being true. I think Classic Wild does a lot of examples of that. But in my time with New World, coming from someone who has played EVE online for the best- whoa, 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 wait. Wait, how's that question mark? Wait, how's that question mark? Hey. 
All you have to do is bind it to scroll. It's not hard. I just don't think it's good gameplay. It's just not, it's not good gameplay to do that. There's a, there's a difference. Better part of a decade, I like freeform sandbox community oriented PTR, conflict driven games and having Amazon's name and more importantly their money behind it only makes it more interesting. I'm gonna play and this. More important I'll than try anything this one that out. I could specifically say. I will say, try this one out. At this point, I've turned down multiple offers or paid trips from them because I already see it as a game that I'll play long Jeff, term. Yo, Jeff, if you hear me, like you've got like how many billion? Oh, you got divorced, so not as many. But uh, like, just like, let's say $2 million, Jeff, $2 million and go ahead and just fly me out there and I'll tell everybody the game's great, okay? So just whenever you get a chance. As long as they build out the potential I see in it and not fumble and just create a pretty murder box or go over the top with weird Twitch integrations. The What's other he trying to say? Tail is one that I actually have no oh, interest in playing personally. Minecraft? The interest I do have is in the interest to the game itself. Oh, the trailer wow. for Hytale alone has something like 47 million views, and it's a game what? game I see brought up over and over and over and over again. When you look over the features and the systems that this game will include, it looks like it checks many of the boxes, but also has dope stuff like giving players modeling and animation oh, I remember to seeing customize this. your character yeah, and now your I items, remember this. as well as allowing you to can make your own content, right? Yeah. Hightail obviously has Minecraft roots, and there is an interesting story from their journey from Minecraft to being this independent game, which we won't touch on here. I think okay. it was a few years too old and detached from that Minecraft wave. And because of this, all of this voxel and grid-based stuff just looks so goofy to me. And I can't get into it or excited about it. Which is funny because I still think EverQuest graphics have a certain charm, right? I understand it's I don't know about it's that. It's just what you grow up on. But it is crystal clear to me that this is a highly anticipated game. And with simpler assets comes the potential for faster released content and an okay. appeal in spite of graphics which gives the game great promise. That's really it though. Next year, there are some <laughs> really interesting titles. Wow. Dual Universe specifically is one Don't that's care caught about my that. eye. And I predict so we'll I, see I hate one of stuff. the handful of crowdfunded games even... come out. And there are a lot of interesting games that looks good. I like that. ideas out there that I can't wait to explore and share next year. Okay. But that's going to do it for me. If there is a game you're really looking forward to, let me know what it is and why you're excited for it. And until next time, this is Fever. Okay. So this game looks really cool. I really I, I, I like this game a lot. Uh the graphics look great, the UI looks good, it makes sense. Uh you have like the menus where you're able to create camps and stuff. Like I survival. Let game me look at the menu box. here. Yeah, look at that menu there. I really, really like that. So uh, I, I know I'm not trying to get sponsored by Jeff. Okay, I'm just I, I'm I'm expressing myself. This does seem like the most appealing MMO that I can see here. Like, did you guys kind of agree with that? So the first game is a Pokemon ripoff. Second game, I don't know. I mean, we'll see what happens with this one here. Uh, let's see. Third game isometric maybe might play it if there's a uh, uh an english version that looks okay uh this is uh runescape plus ragnarok which equals not interested a and then we're gonna look at obviously oh yeah that was albion online i've never really played that one either uh yeah all these look like shit i don't think they all look like shit right but um I, this is the only game that i'm really particularly interested in looking at to be honest okay Oh, uh, 20 upcoming MMORPGs, PC games in 2019, 2020. I think that's maybe a little bit too many, too many to look at right now. But like the whole point is that I'm kind of excited to see what this is going to be, but everything else, it, it's not really as much. Uh, I don't know. Like, how do you guys feel about it? Am I wrong about that or not?